Don't turn it off. Hibba was an undisciplined girl. Since she was young, her big dream was to be a famous celebrity. She wouldn't pray at all, and when she did, it was only to satisfy her parents. She would even do the moves without knowing what to say while praying. When she got to college, she met a guy who claimed that he makes youngsters become celebrities. She started getting busy with him. She said yes when he proposed to her, even though her parents didn't approve of him. She started taking care of how beautiful she looks and of her scent, so wherever she goes, people would gaze at her. One day, Hibba decided to go shopping with her good-looking outfit. Soon she heard a voice coming from behind with a loving tone. When she looked behind, she found a lady wearing hijab, handshaking her with a warm hand, saying, Darling, I see Allah has given you the light on your face, so don't turn the light off with your disobedience. Hibba's ego wouldn't stay still, so she pushed away the lady's hand with anger and left. That was the cause of the lady's words leaving marks on her heart. When she came back home and got into her room, she kept on thinking about the lady she met. She would start shivering every time she thought about it. As a way to escape the thoughts, she wanted to make some tea and started thinking about her fiancé. While she was at that thought, her hands started getting closer to the fire and they burnt. Then she said while crying, How messed up fire is! It burned me in life, and I don't want to get tortured by it in the afterlife for eternity. She hurried her way to the bathroom for wudu and prayed Isha, her first genuine prayer in her life. She went to bed afterwards, but she wouldn't sleep as she kept on hearing in her room someone saying repeatedly, Don't turn it off, don't turn it off. She didn't let the voices continue as she jumped from her bed on her praying mat and with her heart pumping out of her body, saying this with tears. I promise you, God, I'll never turn it off. You were patient with me for more than enough. That's more than enough blessing someone like me deserves. Next morning, Hiba went to her class wearing hijab and she told her fiancé that she found her repentance to Allah and she'd forgotten about being a celebrity. Following that, he started making fun of her and left her. She started thanking Allah as she got to know from her friend that he was planning to show her off as a product to some producers and make some money out of it. When she started comparing how the lady and her fiancé were like with her, she remembered the Prophet's hadith. If anyone summons others to follow right guidance, his reward will be equivalent to those people who follow him without their rewards being diminished in any respect on that account. And if anyone summons others to follow error, the sin of which he is guilty will be equivalent to those of the people who follow him without their sins being diminished in any respect on that account. وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضُ أُعِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ الذين ينفقون في السراء والضراء والكاظمين الغيظ والعافين عن الناس والعافين عن الناس والله يحب المحسنين والذين إذا فعلوا فاحشة أو ظلموا أنفسهم ذكروا الله فاستغفروا لذنوبهم ومن يغفر الذنوب إلا الله ولم يصروا على ما فعلوا وهم يعلمون أولئك جزاؤهم مغفرة 
من ربهم وجنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها ونعم أجر العاملين